10 degrees right now. It feels like two below with a northerly wind at eight miles an hour. And even though those winds will stay light overnight, with temperatures so low, it doesn't take a lot of wind to result in feel like conditions below zero. So even the pets are going to need some help outside tonight. Don't forget your pets. Don't forget the pipes either. P and P, pets and pipes. 10 degrees right now in Smithville, 15 in Liberty, Overland Park at 13 degrees. And over the next 12 hours, we'll really start to drop fast after midnight. I think that's when we'll take the plunge in the single digit territory. This is on average across the metro. Some will be a little warmer, a little colder, but several hours tomorrow morning of single digit cold. Overnight lows across northern portions of Missouri. If we're going to drop below zero, it'll be in Maryville, Hiawatha, northwestern Missouri, zero in Albany, St. Joe, two on average across the KC Metro, about four to five degrees, one in Atchison, and possibly low teens for Clinton and Warsaw, but the wind chills again will be colder than that. Highs tomorrow with sunshine, rebounding like today, but still many degrees below normal for this time of year, 10 to 15 degrees below. 19 in Maryville, 20 in St. Joe, Butler, Clinton, and Sedalia, all making it into the mid 20s. There goes the cloud cover on Future Scan, leaving us with a mostly clear sky to start off your Wednesday morning. This is 7 o'clock, and for the most part, we'll have mostly sunny skies tomorrow afternoon, so that'll help take the edge off of the cold out there. Some higher clouds drifting in by 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. Starting off tomorrow, 4. With wind chills about 5 degrees below zero. Lunchtime 16, a west wind at 10 miles an hour, making it to 21 with filtered sun for the end of the day. And again, that sun will go a long way to help it feel a little warmer out there, especially if you are heading out tomorrow evening to bring in the new year. Out on the town, temperatures will be in the teens by midnight, again, with just a few clouds. Okay, remember that storm system I talked about in California? That begins to move into the central plains, Kansas and Missouri, Friday night through Saturday night. That's when we could see a rain-snow mix. Some of that snow may even accumulate. I wouldn't be surprised if we even had a few hours where we had a bit of a, an icy mix in there. You know, amounts, track, all of that, still a lot of uncertainty, but I am confident that that is going to have an impact for Texas and Oklahoma, and you need to just be aware that that could have a big impact here on Saturday.